I don't recognize this mystery box, guys. Like, when I first got it, I was like, the hell is Freddy's box? But I think it's something I got off an Instagram page or something, so let's uh, take a look, because on the label it does say April Funko Pop Mystery Box, so it is a mystery box, unless uh, I'm actually getting scammed here, but it's quite small for a mystery box, so I'm gonna assume it's one pop per box. So probably there's two mystery pops in here, and that's pretty much it, so hopefully it's something decent. Um, I'm way too lazy to have, it's like what, 11 p.m. I got two and a half hours of sleep last night, so I'm just, I just want to get this open and show you guys what we've got. I guess I need sleep, so. Oh, well, they are individually packaged, so I guess I can still do it blindly. Oh, wow, I got a bag of, uh, bag of Skittles to go with. Let's see, which one should we do first? Let's do this one first, shall we? I feel like there's a piece of paper inside. Might be a grail sticker, I don't know, but this is a mystery grail, so I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so, okay. here's the pop. Hopefully it's something decent. Boom. And then, here's pop number two. Oh, that's the piece of paper that came out. It's a... Oh, the first one is common. Okay, so we got one common and one uncommon. And it looks like we have... Oh, each card is a promo code for a $2 discount for your next box. Okay, I'm definitely not going to show you the set of cards, because these are my codes. Well, I've never collected a Pokemon Pop in my life, but looks like this is the first one that has made into the studio. I think this was recent. I know for a fact that the 10-inch Lucario is recent for sure. Pop number two. Let's see what it is. Hey, yo, what? Well then, it looks like a Freddy's box just fulfilled a pop that was going to get. Perfect! Okay, so this is one of those meme pops. This is the This Is Fine doggo. I've considered getting this at one point. I was going to actually buy it off eBay, I just didn't get it yet because of financial reasons. But, looks like I don't need to. Thanks to this mystery box. Okay, thank you. They knew what they knew what was up. That is good. Okay, so I will. You know what? This isn't a bad mystery box. I will recommend you guys to go grab it if you can, because I think this is up there with Chalice and and, and Mystery Grail. Like this is not bad. Obviously, it'd be better if we got like a Grail or a Chase or something like that. But this is this is a good dual pop. So that's what we've got in this mystery box with a complimentary packet of Skittles, so that's very nice. And then, I've got another package, but that's from eBay, and then I got a big duffel bag of pops. I'm gonna clean this up, and we'll get to the next package. My sources tell me that it is a eBay package, so hopefully that is actually the case, and it actually is indeed an eBay package. This is exactly what I didn't expect. That's, uh, that's a lot of bubble wrap that's not really exactly covering the pop all too well, but for those of you who are actually pop experts, you will know how much this pop is actually worth. For some reason, there is something about this pop that is just up there with Captain Rex and all your $400 plus dollar pops. This Mandalorian pop being a 2019 convention exclusive, and this is the China edition, so it is legit. It is legit. For some reason, the value of this just it's so, so high. So this is Mandalorian in his default armor, regular armor, with his pistol. And that's pretty much it. Why is it such a high value? I'm, maybe just because of the quantity of it being available, just like Rex. That's probably what makes it so high valuable. But I did not spend 300 bucks on this. I did not cut off an arm and a leg to buy this pop. I paid 120 bucks for this, and it's a big. And yes, it's legit. I've checked with the seller, the seller showed me all the evidence, and when I'm pulling this right now, I can see that indeed, that this is legit. Looking at the bottom, it's got all the distribution credits, and all that, it is legit. Not a Valentine's Day pop, I picked up a Mando from Toys R Us, and this guy, uh, one, of my class, uh, one of my fellow people, traded me this one, Luke Skywalker, with, with Grogu, the Valentine's edition, so. The uh, Chestar Cat from the Make-A-Wish line, 
As you know, the, all the proceedings when you buy a Make-A-Wish pop goes towards helping children in need and fulfilling their wishes. So of course, knowing that the money goes to a good cause, I have been buying pretty much every single Make-A-Wish characters that they've been putting out. So this was definitely another one to add to the collection. I already got a quite a quite a good amount. So this 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 made a good addition. We got Groot. Infinity War Groot, so he's a teenager, he's holding the phone, playing the video game, he is a Toys R Us exclusive, as you can see. So we have that, that is very, very nice. And this is uh, my third, no, this is my second Groot. I have a Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but it's baby dancing Groot, so this is uh, another Groot, teenage Groot. This was going on for five bucks, four ninety nine, which is quite good for a flocked Pa, this is a ducky from Toy Story 4, and you know I have a I I really like I really enjoy Flops Pop, so this was a great addition to the collection. And then this one was definitely a great find. This will definitely complement the Flops Winnie the Pooh very, very nicely. This is Eeyore. Hot Top exclusive, but it's Diamond Glitter. It's the Diamond Glitter Edition, so this is fantastic. He looks awesome. And then, uh, okay, we got some, yeah, we got some sodas here. Uh, this one, we've got Dick Darcy Soda sealed, of course. And then we've got a another Shara Shara no box because last time I traded, as I showed you at Toys and that Toys R Us clip, I just got another one because I want the common. This was definitely one of the pricier ones. This one was forty bucks, but the box was in pretty much mint condition. This is the Glow Black Panther. It's one of the hard to find Black Panther pops. I figured it would make sense. The Toy Trace probably had it for the best option possible, so that's where I bought it. Glows in the dark. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got the blue and everything, so I would say this is definitely a Grail. So, one single Wally pop. Last time I pulled out a Wally from a Mystery Grail. I really liked that Wally, but unfortunately, I <laughs> have someone else who wants that Wally as well, so I got this as a way to uh, make up for it. So they can take this Wally instead. It's still a, sp a specialty series one, so it has a sticker. It ain't a common one, so I'm giving that to them instead. The Infinity War Hulkbuster, but as you can see, uh, this one is a standard one. The one I got from Fan Expo is Hulk busting out of the Hulkbuster. This one's a standard one. This was in the clearance aisle for $15. So I felt like that was the green light. The time has come for me to finally get this pop and complete all the Hulkbusters in the collection. So, $15. I would definitely regret it if I didn't pick it up, so. To my pleasure and great surprise, that they have finally dropped the Hooded Luke, which is supposed to be an entertainment exclusive, but also it's a Toys R Us exclusive, which is a special edition sticker. And of course, I picked up two, as I've said in the clip, one for reinvesting and one to keep for myself. And I'm glad patience really, it really shows patience is key. I've thought about getting it off eBay several times, but I'm glad I paid $17 for each instead of paying $45 for one off eBay. It really pays that patience. If you see something like this appear on an Instagram post or something, just have patience. It will show up in your store eventually. If it says it's in Canada, if it says it's in the US, it will eventually show up. So just have patience. Don't always rely on eBay unless you know for a fact the product is impossible to find. So that is that is a little piece of advice I'd suggest you guys should take. And this look definitely demonstrates it. So this definitely was the highlight of the hunt that I went on today. Great great result. In the meantime, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now. And right when I thought I'd ended the video, another package just came. The bell just rang, and I looked outside and there was another package. So, looks like we got one more additional bonus package to take a look at, so we're gonna crack that open and see what it is. Ah, yes, another double pack. And one that I was in, indeed expecting to come sometime soon. Okay, look at that. The Billy and Tommy double pack. And at first, I wasn't going to buy it, but here is what convinced me Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Those two kids are making a reappearance. And, and this pop, this. Double pack is already a little bit hard to find, so that already makes the value of it a little bit higher than what it already should be. But uh, with Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, this is bound to go up even higher. So, picked it up off uh, a decent price off eBay instead of 
instead of some other shops like I think the price was like a little bit too expensive so instead I've taken this up from eBay so there's that so that's all I got from this one other package that came in the mail uh, that came a little bit late after it opened everything else so we'll see you in the next video